Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day. Honored to be connecting in with you as we stop for a moment in the busyness of life to come together heart to heart and connect powerfully. And I feel like amazing things happen when we do that, when we purposely, mindfully connect together there are amazing things that can be poured into our heart, poured into our life, and poured into our spirit. And it's something that I am just so honored to have each of you leaning in and connecting with us today. This month, we've been focused on thriving. And what we mean by that is not just surviving and getting through in life, but how do we, no matter what comes, storms, unexpected things, even those successes in life, no matter what comes, how do we continue to position ourselves to thrive, not just survive, but thrive beautifully and powerfully in life? We have amazing guests that are leaning into the conversation today, and the areas that we're going to be talking about have to do with money and our finances. How do we thrive in that? And our health and our healthcare journey, whether it's ourselves or family members, how do we navigate those waters powerfully and purposely? We have experts that are going to lean into this conversation and pour into us today. So I'm excited to have each of you leaning in, each of you joining us. And I want you to take a moment to choose to be here on purpose, purposely, mindfully being present. It's so easy to multitask, to run off and try to do things on the to-do list, and we're getting pulled so many different directions. But I know there is something here for you today by the very nature that you are tuning in. And in order to receive everything, I want you to be present, be open, be focused. Stopping for a moment and breathing and ready to receive everything that is here for you today. Those of you driving, please stay safe. Both hands on the wheels. No texting and driving. (laughs) Those of you able to, though, I want you to sit back and feel that chair supporting you. Both feet on the floor. Take a deep breath in through your nose. See how big you can make your belly all the way to your belly? And then out through your mouth. Like through a straw. Beautiful. And close your eyes. You're absolutely safe. Put one hand on your heart, one hand on your head, bringing you all in, mind, body, soul, and spirit. And in this space, when we're talking about thriving, particularly in the areas of our finances, money, wealth, and our health and health care, where are you in that? What is it that you need today? to empower you and support you in these areas, to help you thrive. What is it you need? And are willing to receive because you absolutely have choice. So what is it that you need and are willing to receive? Beautiful. Receive that information. Take a breath. Come back into the room, eyes open, fully present, and I want to encourage you to take a moment and to write down what was laid on your heart, what it is that you need and are willing to receive. Sometimes we're so busy in the doing, we forget to connect in and even identify what it is that we need, and then we can miss that need being met because we're not even clear on what it is that we need. So I want to invite you to get it out of you and put it down on paper so you can see it. Keep it top of mind. Be actively on the lookout for what it is that you need and are willing to receive. And be unattached to how. In fact, let's look at being excited 
by the unexpected and wonderful way that particular need can be met. That we're leaning in with excited excitement and anticipation to see how that need will be met. Beautiful. We're going to go around our virtual room here and connect in with our amazing guests heart to heart and see when we took a moment to stop, pause, and listen, what was laid on their hearts. And then we can see how that resonates and connects in with what was laid on ours. So Marlene, I would start with you. I'd love to start with you. What was laid on your heart when we took a moment to stop, pause, and listen? Taking the time to um, allow myself to to take up more space in the world, <laughs> rather mm. than um, yeah, than than kind of shrinking back. So that's kind of yes. what came to me. <laughs> oh, I love that. We can so often wait for permission, or um, we shrink back to try and make room for others. But there's room for everybody, <laughs> and allowing ourselves to occupy fully that space that we're given, that space that we uniquely can hold. Um, beautiful. I love that. Thank you. We support you in expanding to all of the space. <laughs> you are called <laughs> and needed to expand into. Beautiful. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Wendy, how about you? What was laid on your heart? You know, I was just thinking about what a positive, supportive um, community environment this is and how mm-hmm. important creating and growing a community of support, reassurance, inclusion, and trust is. And I was just feeling very grateful to be a part of all of this. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. It is so important that we have that and build that in our life. Beautiful. Thank you. And Beth, how about you? What was laid on your heart? I'm just taking the time to stay steady, calm, and focused um, on this radio show. We're really excited to be here and just trying to take it all in. (laughs) <laughs> Beautiful. Well, let's take a breath as we lift all of this up, and, and it's a steady, calming, present breath and supportive. Beautiful. <laughs> we are thrilled to have each of you here and looking forward to the conversation that we're going to be um, digging into and sharing with our listeners and with each other. And listeners, as we get ready to go to our first commercial break, I want to encourage you to stay present as those commercials that have updates and information we want you to be aware of. I encourage you to stay present as those are playing in the background. Really stop, pause, breathe, and listen. See what's being placed on your heart, on your spirit. When we take the moment to stop, pause, breathe, and bring air, oxygen and air to every cell of our body, it lowers our stress levels, it brings oxygen in, which gives us clearer thinking, it helps us be more present, and it also helps us integrate what is being spoken into our heart and spirit. So we have these beautiful commercial breaks throughout the show designed to support you in being able to stop, pause, breathe, and integrate everything that's being spoken into your heart and your spirit that's being shared on the show today. So take these two minutes, enjoy, and we will look forward to continuing our conversation in just two minutes. Be sure to friend us on Facebook. You can do it right now. Visit facebook.com forward slash voice America or search for us at keyword voice America. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Get Unchained 
Tune in every Monday for Jane Unchained on the Voice America Influencers Channel, featuring nationally recognized, best-selling author, TV journalist, and social media influencer, Jane Velez Mitchell. This program takes you inside a trending lifestyle that's the next wave of human evolution. It all starts on your plate. If you want to revolutionize your life, get happier, more energized, then discover the secret. Tune in to Jane Unchained Mondays at 10 a.m. Pacific Time and 1 p.m. Eastern Time on the Voice America Influencers influencers channel. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at speakertalentsearch.com. That's speakertalentsearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Have you had a chance to check out Voice America's online magazine and blog? If you love our hosts and shows, check out articles that give an even deeper perspective, plus topics about health and fitness, movie reviews, philosophy, business tips and tactics, spirituality, positive thought, current events, and even more about your favorite host. It's just a click away at blog.voiceamerica.com. That's blog.voiceamerica.com. The Voice America Press Blog. All access, all the time. We don't follow, we lead. Join us, the Voice America Influencers Channel. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-472-5795. That's 1-866-472-5795. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes that you gave yourself that opportunity to stop Pause, breathe, and be really present to what's being spoken to your heart and spirit. We're going to start our conversation looking at the financial side of things. So our guest that I'm going to be introducing you to in just a moment is going to an expert in this arena. And I know you're going to feel her heart and her spirit as she shares and empowers us so that we can not just survive, but thrive in relationship to our money and to our finances. Let me introduce her to you. Marlene Elizabeth is a number one international best-selling author, a podcast host, a speaker, certified money coach, and empowerment leader, and she's absolutely passionate about helping you grow your money wings one beautiful, brave feather at a time. Please lean in and warmly welcome the amazing, powerful, and heartfelt Marlene Elizabeth. Welcome! (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you so much. I'm so honored and excited to be here today. I am thrilled to have you here, and and you're such a valued and important part of our community, and it's always a treat when we get to share you (laughs) with all of our listeners, so welcome. (laughs) Glad to have you. Thank you. Absolutely, and I'd like to start with why, why this work of empowering particularly women around finances, why is this work personally so important to you? The, the, this work, um, and thank you for asking this question. Yes, the sure. work is, it, it started, it, it kind of came from my, my passion, my dream to, um, be a stay at home mom and to raise a money smart daughter. And I, I, I really learned how important it was for me to get my own finances in order, in order to help her grow her own money wings. And along the way, I, I discovered just how many women were in my same uh, situation where they wanted to raise money smart children. They wanted their children to to not be able to have to go through the financial challenges that they went through, um, but they just didn't know how. And so I find that it all begins with us understanding our own value, our own worth, so that we as women can radiate the wealth that we have within us radiate that out into the world. 
And, yeah. and in doing so, all the resources we have, uh, you know, including money, mm-hmm. come to us. Yeah. Beautiful. I love the image that you paint with your words. <laughs> it's so beautiful. And that we can radiate that out and that you're passionate and committed to helping people do that, that you know what it's like to not have an order and be motivated and inspired to raise a wise money daughter and that that inspired you to not only help become a wise money woman yourself, but also to reach out and help others do the same. And I just think that's beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Mm, yes, thank you, Rebecca. And and I'd love to see what thrive. I feel like thrive is a, a powerful term that we love and we use that in the world. But I think it means different things to different people. And I shared a little bit about what it means to me. You know, it's really thriving and shining and and living in this powerful way in life versus just surviving and I'd love to know what does thriving particularly in the area of finance mean to you Mm. so and it means so many things but for the purpose of our conversation today I, I choose to focus on the the ability for us as female entrepreneurs to manage our emotions as business owners and being able to understand how that impacts our finances and determines whether we're going to be able to survive or thrive. Beautiful. And so I, yeah, I just, I, and, and coming at, you know, speaking on this topic as a very creative, passionate, <laughs> <laughs> entrepreneurial uh, spirit, I understand what it's like for us to, to really, um, find that when we have these painful emotions, whether they're intense or even pleasurable emotions, they can actually blind us to really valuable data for our journey to success in business and life. Um, and I have a great example of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, please share. If, mm-hmm. if I can share. Okay, so, you know, um, a few years back, I, I remember just being in this painful experience that set me really into this deep despair. And, you know, these very painful, tender emotional experiences, they can often leave us vulnerable to doubt that starts creeping into our mind and our heart and our spirit. You know, these emotions of anger or sadness, fear, shame, you know, all, all these uh, emotions. And in my case, at the time, I felt a lot of anger. Now, mm-hmm. I love God, and I do my best to live my life accordingly, though I'm like any other human being. I make my share of mistakes, as we all do. But I remember at that time, I remember saying, I know God is with me, but I was 100% convinced in that emotional moment that God was not helping me in that moment Mm. and or helping me to take away the problem, ease my pain. But Mm -hmm. when the intensity of my emotions began to ease up a bit and, you know, the emotional cloud started to part, the storm passed. You know, I was, I was literally stunned to not only really be able to see the many ways that I was being helped and supported, but I was also so surprised to see how blind I had been to it in my moment of need due to my emotion. Mm. And so it, it, it just, it, it really helped me to see how important it is when we're dealing with our finances because there's nothing more, <laughs> there's, there's very few things sure. um, that take us to that place of emotion than our finances. It's so important to remember, uh, to keep in mind that these emotions can really blind us as valuable as they are and as, you know, as they serve us in our life as women powerfully, but they can also blind us to really valuable data for our journey. And and, and, the, and that being the case, that these blind, we can have these blind spots, particularly in our most charged tender moments around finances. Do you have a, a suggestion on how to navigate through that so we can um, have an easier path through, maybe have clearer vision? Do you have some suggestions on what could support us when we are feeling emotionally charged, particularly around money? Absolutely. So the number one uh, tip that I always say is, number one, it's so important to never stuff down our powerful emotions. Never stuff our emotions down. I, I like to say, you know, don't don't dismiss them, don't suppress them, don't express them all over everybody. <laughs> but <laughs> yes. Them, you know, share them, right? <laughs> share them, share them, right? Let yourself be human. You have a right to your feelings. 
you know, and so to definitely share them. And, and, but then secondly, just remember that just like we, we can't see the sun on a cloudy day, right? But the mm-hmm. sun is there and it's doing its job. So we need to be able to have faith and trust and sometimes just not lean on our own understanding, really believe and know that the universe is on our side. And Mm -hmm. I think this really comes with simply experiencing that like I did. I would have never been able to tell you in that moment when I was in my emotional storm, right, that God was helping me. I was 100 convinced, you know, he was not Mm -hmm. there helping me. But then I know from experience after the clouds parted, Oh my goodness, there were so many ways I was being helped. And I was, as I said, just stunned that I was so blind to it. So now yeah. moving forward, I know, I know. And the other tip I give as well mm-hmm. um, is that, well, I'll finish my sentence. I know that I'm being supported. But the, mm-hmm. the other tip that I like to share is, is, therefore, it is really important for us to stay connected to ourselves, to our body. It's important to have that regular quiet time where we can um, quiet the static that's all around us and stay connected to what we are truly feeling because it's very easy for us to to dismiss the emotions we're feeling. It's really easy for us as women to say, okay, I'll worry about that later. I don't want to go there now, you know, and kind of step it down. But it's really important to have that regular check-in time with with ourselves, kind of having a body check-in where Mm -hmm. we kind of have that quiet, quiet space to hear ourselves and to honor those emotions. And yeah. and I'm cu- curious. So I and I and I agree. I think that's so important that we remember to stop, pause, listen, and and stay connected to what matters to us because that can get lost in the storm sometimes too. How does um, having someone walk beside us help with any of that? I know that you're a professional money coach and you've supported a lot of people. You you have beautiful, um, a beautiful book that's out there to support people on their journey and your podcast. So you've created all of these tools to help walk beside people. And I'd love to know if you don't mind just sharing a little bit about those and ways that as we stay connected with ourselves, we're also remembering to bring in in that support too. I'd love your comments on that. Mm, yes, yeah, thank you, Rebecca. Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, one of the one of the most important things that any female entrepreneur can do is to find um, a circle of support that does include sometimes that one on one time with a coach, a mentor. Um, it it it's essential. It it truly is essential. And so um, I do I do offer um, private. Um, money coaching, one-on-one money coaching uh, packages. And I also um, offer an opportunity for, for um, kind of a safe gathering for to continue this conversation around money through my podcast, Let's Get Tender Money Conversations That Matter. And I bring on experts and influencers and, and entrepreneurs who share their money story. They share their challenges and their tips and their strategies and what they've learned about overcoming um, limiting beliefs around money so that they have been able to learn how to um, change the beliefs, shift it so that they can thrive in their businesses. Um, so it's, um, but it is, it is, it's, it's life changing when you're really ready to transform your relationship to money. Um, one of the best ways you can do it is by, is by doing your, your money work, which is really knowing what your money story is. It's essential, really understanding what you do believe about money. Um, what are your habits that come from these beliefs that maybe you've never been, you know, curious about or examined before, but that may be limiting you from really unfolding your financial potential. And today it's just, there's, I, be, I truly believe that women are being called to this whole new frontier of, of um, stepping into their financial health for, for their yes. own good, but also for the greater good. Beautiful. Thank you. I And I agree. I underline that, <laughs> that it's so important <laughs> that we, we come together and we answer that call and we check in and checking in isn't without with judgment or criticism of it's like, where are we? Do we have a relationship? And is that relationship how I want it to be? And if it isn't, where do I want to shift it? Or how do I want to make it even stronger? And I'd love for you to take a moment and just, I know you have a beautiful, powerful book (laughs) that's available and you have another one coming (laughs) and your podcast. I'd love for you to just share um, your book. I know it's available on Amazon. Could you share what your, your book title? 
Yes, thank you so much. Yes, my book, Money Wings, Unfolding Your Financial Potential, One Brave Feather at a Time. I launched that uh, in July last year on my daughter's birthday. (laughs) And it's available on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. Uh, And I am very excited to be launching my next book, which is going to be sort of a companion to the first one. It's going to be called Choosing Money Wings. And it's, uh, it's, it's 52 weekly inspirations. Um, that that help female entrepreneurs to really start um, taking those steps to unfolding their financial potential. And that will be launched in October uh, 16th, so I'm super excited about that. And um, my podcast airs weekly on Wednesdays at 10 a.m. on the Empowered Business Channel, very proudly on the RHGTV network. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, yes, yes. So um, very, very excited and, yeah, encourage people to, to tune in. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Thank you. And we are proud and honored to have you on the RHG TV network as well. That's why I was laughing and celebration and joy. <laughs> so honored to have you <laughs> as one of our, our weekly programs that we're able to bring out into the world and really helping people um, around money and, and creating a safe space for um, real conversations to support people. And again, your book, Money Wings, they can find on Amazon. And we're looking forward to the launch of your book in October your new book and I know listeners are going to be bringing Marlene on again as we get closer to that date um, and we'll give you additional details but you did give us the launch date so those of you that have your pen and calendars ready (laughs) it is October 16th will be the release date (laughs) beautiful so Marlene thank you I so appreciate you joining us today and sharing so powerfully and beautifully and listeners As we're getting ready to go to our next commercial break, remember those are two minutes. These are two minutes just for you. And I want to invite you to give yourself the opportunity to stop, pause, recenter. Sometimes when we bring up finances and money, we can drift a little bit. (laughs) So I want to encourage you to be present, take a breath, and really give yourself an opportunity to check in. How is your relationship with money looking feeling what was being and is being spoken into your heart and spirit and we come back we're going to continue our conversation as we step into looking at health and our health care journey and getting some support around that we'll look forward to talking to you in just two minutes Think you've seen everything there is to see in online television? Let us surprise you. Visit voiceamerica.tv today for sports, health, business, and more on demand 24-7. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Sustainable success is just around the corner. If you are an entrepreneur, business leader, or anybody looking for their next level of success, tune into Sustainable Success with host Chris Salem. Did you know that the path to success is a long path that started many years ago? The path you started on then determines what is happening now. Chris and his amazing guests in their field will help you navigate the path to sustainable success every Thursday at 12 noon Eastern Time and 9 a.m. Pacific on the Voice America Influencers Channel. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Tune in to the Voice America Variety Channel on the Voice America Talk Radio Network. Voice America Variety broadcasts a diverse array of topics, reaching a global community. Our experts come from all walks of life, and the topics they discuss are everything from current events, arts and entertainment, leadership, parenting, relationships, 
self-improvement, career advice, and a variety of other topics. Check us out today. You're sure to find something of interest. Voice America Variety. Talk on today's hot topics. Change starts here. Change starts now. Join us. The Voice America Influencers Channel. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-472-5795. That's 1-866-472-5795. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes that you gave yourself that opportunity to stop, pause, breathe, and integrate. Beautiful. Well, I'm really excited about our next two guests. They are working on an incredible project, which I just can't wait to share about. (laughs) So we'll be sharing about that very, very shortly in in our conversation today. Um, But these two individuals are so committed to empowering and helping us navigate the area of, of healthcare. And every one of us either has been directly I believe actually directly impacted by a healthcare need by someone in our family, someone we know, and those can be uncharted waters, or we're not quite sure how to navigate them. And these two experts are going to help empower us in this area today and have um, a special tool and resource they're going to be bringing forward to continue to help us in that arena. So let me introduce them. Let's start with Beth. So Beth Myers is the nurse, a nurse and the founder and CEO of 2x2 two two Health Private Health Concierge. Wendy Benson is an occupational therapist and chief operation officer of 2x2 two two Health Private Health Concierge. And together, they have written the soon-to-be-launched book called The Confident patient, which we're just so excited about. We're going to be talking about it today. And these powerful, heartfelt women are passionate about helping you become confident in navigating your healthcare journey so you're empowered and able to move through those steps with great confidence. Please lean in and warmly welcome Wendy K. Benson and Beth Myers to the show. Welcome. <laughs> oh, Rebecca, we are absolutely delighted to be here. Thank you for I, having us. Absolutely. I'm thrilled to have both of you joining us today and making yourselves available. I know when you were getting close to a book launch and all the other things that you are managing and on your plate it's such an honor for you to take time out of your schedule to spend some time with us and share about your forthcoming book and share about the powerful work that you do so thank you both for making yourselves available and being here today it's our pleasure we're so pleased to be here we've (laughs) just really noticed there's so many common themes that can help people we just want to spread the word so we can be as supportive as possible when people are in these stressful situations Beautiful. And, and I love that because when we're suddenly faced with a healthcare crisis or um, something unexpected, we don't always know how to navigate those waters. And what a gift to have you being willing to walk beside us and help us <laughs> navigate those waters and creating such a powerful tool, the confident patient, to help us even further and navigating those waters. So I'd love for you to, if we could start our conversation, and and Beth, I'd love to have you answer this question. I'd love to know some of what led you to create and um, to create, found, and bring forth 2 by 2 Health. I'd love for you to share a little bit of why you decided to create this organization and bring it forward. Sure. So I was a nurse in a large academic medical center for about 16 years, and I just thought that there was this gap in care, and uh, patients and their families were overwhelmed, and they didn't know what to do or 
what questions to ask, um, and they would have a better, they would feel better about themselves and their journey if they had a little more knowledge behind them. So um, I left the, uh, the hospital setting uh, about four years ago, and um, when he joined me a year after that, and it's just been amazing to fill that void for people and see, you know, a, some of the stress, you know, um, decrease a little bit so they can focus on their loved ones or if it was them um, and to, to feel better and, and to get better quicker. Beautiful. I, and prevent some uh, returning for in an emergency situation because not quite knowing how to transition <laughs> as well. Correct. So, yeah. Once yeah. we get them out, we want them to stay out of the hospital. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then, and, and I loved how you shared, it's a perfect segue. I love that, that Wendy joined you a year <laughs> later. So, Wendy, I'd love to know why you decided to join and become part of this organization. You know, Beth being a nurse and me being an occupational therapist, we have such strong relationships with medical professionals just across the board. And we both really loved what we were doing. Um, but in doing this, we're still providing such quality health care at such an individual level. It's like the truest form of being able to extend health care outside the walls of a, of a traditional environment. Mm-hmm. And so we see the differences that it's making for, you know, individuals and their families and being able to stay healthier and feel more empowered, having the questions to ask, um, being a little bit more comfortable with the language that's being used in the healthcare environment. We just see this translating into so many more people feeling independent and um, having more control over themselves and their their health overall. It's just um, it's motivating to be a part of something so personal and something that just makes such a direct impact immediately. I, I love it, and I know your organization has grown um, in impact and expanded, um, which is wonderful to see. And then that has led both of you to um, have on your heart to bring forward and create the book, The Confident Patient. And I'd love for you each to share a little bit about this book and why you're excited about it. And then I'll share when people can look forward to it coming out. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rebecca. Um, we're, we're just absolutely um, thrilled to put this information together. Each person has, you know, a unique situation and their own perspective. But as we work with people over the years, from newborn babies to people that are 100 years old, all ages, all, you know, all different experiences, there still were common themes that we were noting that we thought to ourselves, we really need to put this all down. We need to have a guide available for people. There were so many commonalities of things that were overwhelming and daunting to people that we thought that we would be able to help even more people by putting this all together in a book, The Confident Patient, so that people could have a tool. They could have something that they could have um, in their carry-on bag when they're going to see their loved one and accompanying them to a doctor's appointment or to a surgery and just really have something that they could have physically with them that could help support them and their loved ones during times that are often very stressful. Yes. Beautiful. And and something that is so powerful about this tool, this guide, I love that you use those terms as you were describing it, is to me it's giving people really practical things to ask or to think about or to um, understand whatever place they are in their healthcare journey, whether it's a, a surgery or uh, a transition of some sort, whatever it may be, there's step by step, like you want to think about this, you want to understand this, this is when you get a, a second opinion. Here's what the terminology means. Here's some important things to talk about. And you've woven together both the patient's perspective as well as the healthcare provider's perspective, which I think is beautiful and personal um, stories that have been shared as people have gone on the journey. It's such a rich guide that is just, I believe, can make such a huge difference for anyone that leans into into this book. And then, um, Wendy, that was you sharing. So, Beth, I'd love for you to add to the conversation. I wanted to see what you're excited about with this sure. book. So, um, 
Sorry about that. Sorry. So it was really important for us to just go down to be more down to earth and, and you know, start with what we usually ask patients. Um, like, you know, there's, there's, so, there's so much going on. Um, you know, let's go, get down to earth and, and say, you know, what, what's going on here? What, you know, do, Let's not look at the big, let, let's look at the big picture. I don't want to get into the nitty gritty yet, but really what is the problem? Um, and mm-hmm. make it so it's easy to talk to and be an advisor and ambassador to, ambassador to people to help, to help them during this stressful time. Beautiful. I love that. So getting people, fo- you know, helping them with the overall big picture and then having it even broken down into steps so they can be more confident. Because one of the things I, I love that you share about in this book is helping us understand the language a little bit. It's almost like the secret code <laughs> when we go to the doctor's office because we're not every day um, using that terminology. We don't always know what it means and we don't know what we don't know. We don't always know the questions to ask and then we get home or we end up in a situation and it's like oh I wish I would have thought of this or I wish I would have known and to me this book is helping people have all of that information know what to ask know things to think about and that will give them more confidence now I know uh, behind the scenes because we've we've talked about your book so much. <laughs> We're very excited about it launching. So I'm going to share a couple uh, details with our listeners. So listeners, those of you who are, I, I'm actually going to encourage every one of you to mark this date on your calendar. June 4th. This is the launch date of this powerful book. And the reason you want to mark June 4th on your calendars is when we launch it, we're going to be offering it for the special rate of $1 for the first 24 to 48 hours. So here's an opportunity to add this tool, this valuable guide to your library or to share it with someone else who may be navigating these waters. What a powerful gift. And so I would love every one of you to mark this date on your calendar, June 4th. Let's lean in and get the word out to as many people as possible so that we can empower people to not just survive navigating through these healthcare journeys, but thrive in them and step into that place of confidence. So June 4th, they're going to be launching it. Watch for, we'll be sharing out on social media. If you're on my list, we'll be emailing it out. We're going to be sharing it out uh, so that we can impact and reach as many people as possible. So you can add this tool to your library. So June 4th, where it'll be available, please mark that on your calendar. It will send um, information out in the link. You'll be able to purchase it on Amazon starting on June 4th. So we want to make sure you have that. And there was a lot of thought and discussion. So here's a kind of behind the scenes moment behind the curtains <laughs> of to what image to put on the cover. Now, um, Beth and Wendy didn't know I was going to talk about ask this particular question, so I'm going to let you you choose which one of you would like to answer. But I know there was a lot of thought and reflection that went into choosing the right image to place on that cover, and that cover is such an important place. Choosing a color that is, is safe and powerful and supportive, I'd love for. Uh, either one of you or both to share your thoughts about what the image was that you selected and why. Well, um, I love this question, Rebecca. Thank you. It made me laugh. Um, (laughs) You know, healthcare is something that is so personal and so intimate. And we wanted a cover that conveyed confidence and trust. We didn't want to lead from fear. We wanted to lead from um, an example of how we can support one another. So we looked at various images, including um, diagnostic tests. Um, we looked at lighthouses um, for, you know, kind of showing the way and helping to navigate in choppy waters. And we ended up really focusing on a stethoscope, you know, something that a nurse can wear around her neck, a physician or a surgeon often uses, we wanted something that, you know, people see stethoscopes and a stethoscope is used when someone is well and a stethoscope is used when someone um, needs some extra support. We wanted something that symbolized the healthcare field, 
but was not threatening because healthcare, like finances, you know, Marlene was talking about how finances can be emotional blinding and healthcare can be too. And so we wanted it to be something that did signify healthcare, but wasn't a frightening image. We wanted people to feel confident and know that, um, you know, with what's inside of them, with their community, with the resources that we provide, with some guidance and some extra support, we can all feel confident in this journey together. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. And, and listeners, I want you to hear the thought and the care that went into making that decision. And you're going to feel that same thought and care and really looking to connect with the person that is getting care to be or support, to be more confident. And that's echoed throughout every page in this book, every tool, every resource that is being provided. So, uh, Wendy and Beth, I just want to thank you both for joining us, making yourself available. We are so excited (laughs) to be supporting your book and your launch and are honored to be able to share this with our listeners to make it available. And I know it's a a tool and a guide that's going to make such a difference in so many lives and in so many families. So thank you for the work that you're doing. Thank you for making this book available. And listeners, I want you to mark June 4th (laughs) on your calendar. That's when The Confident Patient will be available on Amazon for that special rate of $1 for the first 24 to 48 hours. And we want to make sure we're able to reach as many people as possible so that we can help people be more confident and thrive. And with that... We are going to get ready to go to our next commercial break. And as we do, I want you to take these next two minutes to stop, pause, take a breath, put June 4th on your calendar, (laughs) and give yourself a moment to integrate what's being shared into your heart and spirit. We'll look forward to talking to you in just two minutes. Follow us on Twitter at VoiceAmericaTRN. Get the lowdown on guests, new shows, and your favorites. That's VoiceAmericaTRN. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. There's a new force to be reckoned with in talk radio. It's not just talk radio. Hosted by LaTanya Jr. and co-host Tina Wynn and Tony Brown. Not Just Talk Radio is like a superhero. Inspiring, problem-solving, and informing. Packed with action-provoking conversations from news, movements, and social and politics issues. This program is about a wide range of voices and fresh points of view from experts, celebrities, and you, the listener. Not Just Talk Talk Radio is broadcast live Wednesdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific on the Voice America Influencers Channel. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Become a member of VoiceAmerica.com. It's easy and best of all, it's free. Start out by going to our homepage or any of our channels and click register at the top. Once you've created an account and signed in, you can create your own custom library, opt into our newsletter, search by show, host, guest, or topic of interest, or browse millions of hours of content across all of our Voice America radio channels. Membership gets you more. Visit voiceamerica.com today to get started and tailor the listening experience to your taste. We don't follow, we lead. Join us, the Voice America Influencers Channel.
You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-472-5795. That's 1-866-472-5795. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes that you wrote that special. We have gave you two special dates today, actually. October 16th for Marlene's upcoming book. She'll have that same special the first 24 hours to 48 hours. So October 16th and June 4th for the confident patient we want to make sure you're aware of those opportunities and we're so excited to be able to bring them to you for that special rate of one dollar for the first 24 to 48 hours and i asked each of our guests if they could take a moment and let you know how to contact them i love for you to be able to have the same sort of contact that i do to these amazing experts and influencers so we're going to go around the room have them share how they you can connect in with them on a deeper level especially those you're resonating with. And then also each of them are going to share a quick tip or reminder as you go back out into the world that you can take with you and weave into your day. So with that, Marlene, I'd love for you to share how people can connect with you further and then your tip. So I invite listeners to uh, connect with me at www.unfoldmoneywings.com or at www.meetwithmarlene.com. And I would like to just kind of close with this thought that, you know, confidence, as we've been talking about in this whole call, is it's built up with, within us according to the courageous steps that we take in life. And so... Confidence begins with courage. So mm-hmm. I just encourage uh, listeners to stay focused on moving forward in your next level of financial health, just one brave feather at a time, just taking small steps, maybe holding on to an empowering quote, scheduling a coffee chat, writing just one journal page about your, your money story, just small steps as you, as you move forward into your next level of, of financial health. Beautiful. Small steps count. I love it. (laughs) Thank you. And and take one step today. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, Beth, I'd love for you to share contact information of how they can connect connect in with you. So, yes, thanks, Rebecca. Um, You can connect with us on www.2x. To health.com. Those are both the number twos. Um, or you can follow us on Facebook or LinkedIn. Perfect. And under that same name, 2 by 2 Health, 2X2. Correct. 2 by 2 okay. Health. Yep. 2X2 Perfect. Health. Perfect. Perfect. Love it. Thank you. And then, Wendy, you have a tip or a reminder for us. I'd love for you to share. Yes, thank you, Rebecca. Um, you know, one of our favorite things is by Christopher Robin, who said, Always remember that you are braver than you believe stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. And I think that we all have the opportunity and the ability to help each other to be more confident, both for our own health care and for those that we love. We firmly believe that everyone can do this for themselves and those that we care about. We wish you great confidence and great health. Thank you so much for sharing that quote is especially meaningful to me it actually brought tears to my eyes that's my father's one of his favorite quotes that he always shares so thank you for sharing that it's such an important reminder listeners as we get ready to go back out into the world i want to encourage you at the end of the show to give yourself two minutes to stop pause breathe and integrate what's being spoken to your heart and spirit so it can become part of you as you get ready to go back out into the world because you are stronger than you know, braver and more courageous than you can imagine. And you can take a step today, one step, to help you move powerfully forward in those areas that matter most to you. So remember, wherever you go, Whatever you do, may you choose to bloom where you are planted and share the gift of you. Shine 
out in the world. We'll look forward to talking to you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye. Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Influencers Channel. And join us for a replay of the show every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine.